Hi everyone, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Carrie. This channel is all about Hawaii food and family. And it's been a while since the last time I picked up my vlog camera. I think the last time was Lanai. So it's been over a month. Um, but anyway, hope everyone had a great start to the new year. It's still January, so I can still say that. Uh, Ellie and I have been cooked cooped up here in the house for the last couple weeks just because of hand foot and mouth and yeah it was that was it was a very uncomfortable experience to say the least and i hope uh, as an adult if you're out there i hope you never get it or have to experience that ever um but we are better now and we are going out today for the first time uh in a long time we are going to be going to the farmer's market. Ellie is just finishing peeling her egg and we still have some breakfast and then we're going to head out. So we decided to head to the Kaka'ako Farmer's Market in Honolulu and this is probably one of my favorite ones just because of the variety of vendors, of fruits and vegetables, of eateries and just the vibe in general is really fun and youthful and yeah I do love it. We haven't been able to go often just I guess because we've been busy but I definitely enjoy um, supporting local and would love to keep coming back as much as we can. We don't live in this area so we decided to make a day of it by heading to lunch after the farmers market and we also took Ellie to the playground in that area and shopped around salt and just enjoyed being in that area. There's so much development now that's happening so I'm excited to see what Honolulu and this Kaka'ako area is going to look like in the next coming years. Also, Merriman's is a great lunch spot. The food just tastes so fresh and the quality overall is very good. So highly recommend if you're in this area. Okay, so we're back from the farmer's market and I haven't been to the farmer's market probably in like over a year. Just, I don't know why, but we, I haven't been back. But I wanted to share with you what I got. I'm pretty excited um, because the one in at Kaka'ako, I think in particular, is a really good one. There's so many different places to get veggies and to get fruits. And yeah, they just have an array of foods and, and all of that. So I would probably recommend that one. And it's very central to everything else on a walk, which I think is really nice. So a couple things I got. I got some papaya. Ellie has taken a liking to papaya recently and she just every morning it's can I have papaya? Can I have papaya? And most of the time it's not always ready. There are the few occasions when the papaya ripens and I can tell her yes you can have papaya today. But I bought a couple. These are three for five dollars which is a which is a good deal here on Oahu. Got that, and then I got lily koi. Um, I I've never made or I've never used lily koi in any dishes, but I was just thinking of having them, you know, either in smoothies or just um, using them over something. So we'll see. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll look up a recipe and figure out how I can use lily koi. But this looks really good. I got some carrots, and these just looked super organic, and ready to eat so carrots and I got a little bit of banana apple banana and you can hear Ellie in my monitor I um, got some lettuce here just regular green leaf lettuce and some tomatoes we got some mixed greens too Lee picked these up he sometimes it's just a, a little bit more convenient to get greens that are already mixed um, we got some sweet potato I got uh, um, a cucumber. Ellie also has taken a liking to cucumber. So been uh, trying to put that in some of her foods or just eating it on the side, which is nice. From the Baker Dudes, they always have really nice and um, freshly baked bread. So I got um, a loaf of sourdough, which is already pre-sliced. So this is really good. I like to also get the ones from Costco. I think it's the Latour brand, but you know what you can support? a smaller company and something like this and it's always nice uh, and then the last couple of things I got I'm really excited is pickled mango I haven't seen pickled mango in a very long time and 
if you don't know what it is, it's literally um, like a sweet, salty vinegar um, sauce that uh, green mango is put into and it's pickled, obviously, hence the name, with some lihi moi on it. So, excited to try this because I know this is gonna be delicious. The last thing I got that reminds me of my grandparents actually is my papaya plant. And I don't know how to plant a papaya tree, but I am going to learn and we're gonna we're gonna watch this thing grow, hopefully. And so, um, yeah, growing up, my grandparents always had papaya trees. Whether they lived on the Big Island or they lived at my parents' house, they always planted a papaya tree and they always had fresh papayas from it. So I'm hoping that I can follow in their footsteps a little bit and hopefully this can give us some papayas, especially now that Ellie has really um, shown that she likes papaya. So we will see. But before we move on, Let's just try this pickled mango on camera, just so you see how delicious this is. This is what this looks like. Oh my gosh, I'm spilling it all. This pickled mango. And really, oh, you can really only eat like a couple in one sitting because it's just so salty, but super good. Yep. Throughout my childhood, this was like a, a, a treat. Mm -hmm. mm. I think also my grandparents would make this once in a while, either pickled mango or like a pickled beet. Okay. One more. Pickled mango. Dripping on the table. That's it. Mm. Delicious. It is the next day and we are going to plant our papaya tree that we bought yesterday from the farmer's market. And this is the first time that I am attempting to plant a tree. Um, but I'm excited because I feel in a way this is like connecting me to my grandparents. I don't know. But yeah, so we got, we just came back from Lowe's. So we got some uh, soil here. We're just gonna get started. So to start, I placed the papaya tree down where I thought we were going to be planting our tree. And with the shovel, I went around and I traced a circle of a spot to begin digging a hole. Well, we just ruined all this grass. We just tried to dig a hole and we hit the sprinkler line. So we moved the papaya tree and we did the same exact thing. As you see here, I'm tracing around the, circ the circumference of the tree and I'm going to uh, dig the hole as soon as I move the papaya plant. It took me a little bit to really get in there. A reed did step in to help and Ellie was very curious and wanted to see what we were doing. but. All in all, we were able to dig a successful hole, and here it is. So to take the plant out, I rolled it on its side and gently removed the whole plant from the pot itself, just trying to keep the roots intact. However, I did think that there were two papaya plant. I thought there were two shoots so I spent time trying to gently pull the two plants apart but I realized as I was doing this that I believe this was only one plant. So I am hoping that even though I did touch the roots and I did put my fingers in there that this plant is still going to grow and it's still going to be able to 
thrive in our environment. But that's what I'm doing as you can see here. I really enjoyed putting this plant in our grass and hopefully welcoming it into our family. And I love that Ellie gets to be a part of this whole experience and really gets to see this plant grow from a small shoot. And so the last thing that we are doing is we are going to be adding soil. I wanted to go for something that was just organic and good for the plants. And so this is the one that we picked up. Our replanted papaya tree. So I will keep you posted on how this grows, if it grows. And we'll see. So later that day, we ended up going to my parents' house and Ellie got to play with her cousins and really just spend time with them and I love watching her create these bonds and make these memories with all of her cousins. So that was really fun. And while they were doing that, I also decided to make something in the kitchen. So keep watching. Alright, so we are here now at my parents' house and Funny thing, they actually are not here this weekend, but uh, Jenny's here and the, all of the children are here as well. I thought it would be fun to make a local favorite dessert that we all have, we all know and love, and that is butter mochi. And so, um, fun fact, this is actually my first time preparing butter mochi, but I've eaten it many times, and of course, I love this dessert as well. And so what we're using today is some mochiko, and mochiko flour, which is rice flour, some sugar, some baking powder, some salt, some eggs, evaporated milk, coconut milk, butter, and some coconut. So what we're going to do is we're going to add all the dry ingredients first and we're going to mix that together. So we have mochiko, we have the sugar, we have the baking powder, and I'll put all of the, the ingredients that I've used and all the measurements in the description box below. And we have some salt. Okay, and now we're gonna be adding all the liquid ingredients. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my eggs. Gonna mix that around. Then I'm gonna add in the evaporated milk. Ooh. Kids actually right now are outside in the pool, but they're coming in, so we want to do this quickly so we have some quiet time. And the coconut milk. Ooh. I feel like coconut milk and mochi go together really well. Like if you eat chichi dango, this is basically what you put in chichi dango, which it gives it a really nice flavor. And the last thing is the butter. Butter mochi is a more, I mean, it's it's a dish that you go to a potluck or you go somewhere. It's just, you know, it's it's one of those staple foods that you see in Hawaii. So it's good to have a, a nice recipe that you can go to. Also, I wanted to say to all of you that have subscribed to the channel so far, we recently reached 6,000 subscribers. So thank you so much for all your support with this YouTube channel and uh, you know, with the support of, of my family. I know I see a lot of you guys out in public and you know, it's really nice when people stop us, even though it, you know, I feel a little bit shy with people do stop us, it is really nice to know that people watch the channel and they they love all the family videos or the, the aspects of family in the video. And I think that's why I continue to make videos is because uh, I really do want to encourage people out there to spend time together as a family, cook together, learn from their grandparents, learn from their parents because at some point you realize that you won't have these opportunities that you get to learn from your parents and your grandparents and it's always you know like even today when i'm planting the papaya tree i, w I was thinking like i wish my grandpa was here so i could ask him you know what like i ask him advice on how to plant it and 
and ha and I just I wish I had more videos on on watching them plant their garden because that's something that I I would like more information about. After your batter is mixed well, you're going to pour it into a 9 by 13 greased pan. Okay, so many of you know Maya. She's been in a lot of videos, but Maya is my oldest niece. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you guys have watched the earlier videos, Maya's the one that's saying, Can you make me shine? And what else? Lao Lao. Lao. That was like 10 years ago. 11 years, 11 years ago. Okay, so why don't you just try. Um, the coconut all over the top. And Maya honestly is not a fan of mochi. But I'm sure you will try this one, right? <laughs> and we'll see the results. For even people who are not a fan, maybe, maybe this will steer them in a different direction. Evenly coat the butter mochi with shredded coconut and I told Maya here to be very generous with it because it gives it just the right amount of crunch and sweetness and a really nice texture to the overall mochi which is really really delicious after it comes out of the oven and after this you're going to put it in the oven for 50 minutes at 350 degrees Let's dump it all out all right good job okay so we're going to put this in the oven for an hour to bake Took the butter mochi out of the oven. Smells very good. Looks good. Soft inside. Mmm. Really nice flavor. The coconut on the top adds like a really nice crunch to this as well. Mmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. Jenny is going to try the butter mochi. The butter mochi. Butter mochi. Mm. How is it's it? It's very good. It tastes like crunchy on the outside with the, is that coconut? Mm hmm. And it's got that the vanilla y coconut nutty flavor and inside it's very good. Just like how you expect. You would expect what I'm watching to do. And it's very easy. This is a very easy recipe. Okay, we'll ask the others. So we're gonna try the butter mochi. I think that's how your grandma used to say, it, right? The butter mochi. Butter. 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 Huh? Yeah, sure. And Reed is an avid mochi, butter mochi fan, right? Mmm. Give us an honest critique. Good consistency. There's coconut flakes on the top, which um, adds the flavor. It's not too sweet. Sometimes butter mochi is too sweet. It's not too oily. That's another one. A lot of times butter mochi is very oily. This is nice and fluffy. I give it a 8.5 out of 10. Yeah. Why, why the one and a half? Because my, my auntie actually makes like a really, really good butter mochi. Like, kind of hard to beat. But considering this is the first time and it's bata mochi, then I think it's a good, good job. Thank you. Pick it up and bite it. Just, yeah, pick it up. Oh. <laughs> okay, honest <laughs> reaction. Not a fan. Not a fan. How but is it? Eddie? We have a fan here. Oh. She's a fan. Oh. oh. I'll only eat ice cream mochi, but I'll only eat the inside part. <laughs> or I'll, I'll, I'll or I like choked on mochi so many times. Just, you want to just try this? I thought just took a small bite. No, I'll just, I'll just get my own. Okay. 
Okay, Maya helped put on the coconut. All right. That's actually not bad. For someone who doesn't like mochi, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is like the consistency, I think. We're gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Let me know if you make a butter mochi anytime soon, and let me know how it how it tastes. See you in the next one. Bye. Yay. <laughs>